missing machine tracks. Might be the Fanghorn I'm looking for. Different machine tracks here. I'm gonna need my focus to tell them apart. On the Fanghorn tracks. The trail looks fresh, too. My focus should help me follow it. There you are. Let's see where you lead. Fanghorn that breeds fire. I think I found Laren's new friend. I'm gonna have to take it down. And it's gone. Let's try that again. Using frost won't help here. A lot of lance horns. better.
those parts for that. World ruin. I wonder what's inside. Over here, Aloy. Here's that fanghorn you wanted. Most of it, anyway. Yes. This is it! This will make my armor truly stand out. Unless, maybe I can add... Uh... It's about time you got started, isn't it? You're right! Can't make the perfect armor if I never light the forge. Thank you, Aloy. Maybe you'll come back around when Karuf does. See me win that prize? I can try. Aloy, are you looking to buy some stuff? Know what we need? Proper survey of the valley. <laughs> this is a tomorrow. The Tanakh sure are resourceful. Yeah. Build a camp like this. I look, Jeff. Yeah. The claim. Well, look who's Find back. A pint of your finest. So what's Today? new? Aloy machine hunter. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking, giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did.
Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed down not long after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him, too. Good riddance, I say. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big ol' pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would have become an Osram municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. everywhere but i couldn't find any booze around Calling. ignoring me again you wanted to speak to me well you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there and not just against machines dame's odor this here's my training pit best place to practice close combat this side of the forbidden west say i wonder who'd win in a fight you, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dull blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. are fast but easily blocked so learn to combine them with other attacks after attacks. I think landing heavy attacks or combinations of energizer faster. Yeah. 
And their armor's off. Shoot the energy. This one goes to the Nora. The more you say it. Child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. Break their weapon block, then follow through to attack with this combination. This is the aerial slash. Bring your blade down from the air onto your enemy. Deadly and a great way to set up follow-up attacks. same attacks, the enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. Close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. Attacks to energize your speed. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack. And that spear can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Attack. Yeah. 
I yield. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodark. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. I should go. I'll be here if you want to practice more. <laughs> 